working with skin tones um, pretty much uh, like we start always with oil pastels uh, I'm gonna start by establishing my light so I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch because you can't see great but I'm just putting a little bit of white tip of the nose up through the center of the nose and into the eye area Always work from your light to your dark. And you really, when you're doing skin, you really have to think about the undertones. Sometimes it seems like a really strange choice, like this blue. But what I have found after a lot of years of working with color is that a dark blue or a purple mixes really well with brown to create shadow areas. And that's pretty much in most medias that I have found that to be very true. This is kind of a reddish brown I'm using. And then this is just like the regular brown that's in your set. And then I'm going to use um, a peach. If I started with the peach, um, this is an African-American woman um, that I'm focused on and her skin tones are kind of mahogany. They're this beautiful sort of golden brown colors. Um, if I started with the peach, it would totally wipe that out um, and we'd end up with something that's uh, too light. But if I start with the darker colors, except of course where I want it like the highlight to stay um, and then I go back in with some peach tones I can get some skin tones that are a lot more uh, rich You can drag colors with you, so I can drag colors into the area around a little bit. So as I work through this area, I'm going to go back and forth between the colors and just continue layering them in. Um, you don't need to blend these. You don't need to blend them with your fingers. You don't need to blend them with a paper towel. Uh, as you build the layers, they will blend themselves. You just have to be careful with the black. It's always the last color that I add into an area. And then I use my colored pencils to detail.
So now I'm going to go in with some of that reddish brown, um, kind of work it through uh, the shadows and a little bit more peachy tones. Uh, this right side has a little bit more peachy, lighter colors. I can see some pink undertones in the uh, cheek. Uh, and I can see that sort of burnt ochre, that yellow color um, on this side of the nose. Um, here I'm just looking at some of those wrinkles underneath the eye and I'm using the two colored pencils to bring up a little highlight and define the, the wrinkle just a little bit more. And this is that reddish brown again. And then using that peach to burnish it, start smoothing it out. So I'm going to use that peach to really blend all those tones together. Um, and then I need to bring my color together on the crest of the nose. Uh, the only place that really is almost white, white, white um, is that shine at the very tip of the nose and a very slim uh, place that goes up the center of the nose. Um, but even it has a little bit of value into it, so I've got to kind of close up that gap. I don't want to lose the shadow on the underside of the nose there. Little blue again. and a little bit of the plain brown, the sort of chocolate brown color. You can use white over the top, so if you've got a shine or something where it's catching more, like this right side is, you can use white. And there on the that center, I'm using the white to actually pull color into that shine. So it's not quite stark white. It's got a little bit of those other colors into it. And then I'm just using the white colored pencil to blend, um, particularly to blend my edge between the shadow and the light. And then this is the final piece, all done with the eyelashes and everything added.